sketch the ellipsoid, x squared over 9 plus y squared over 16 plus z squared over 4 equals 1. Show the traces in the xy, xz, and yz planes. The first thing I'm going to do is find the traces. If we do that, that'll give us an idea of how to fill in the rest of our ellipsoid when we put things in xyz space. Okay, first the xy plane. So I'm going to let z be equal to 0. Put z equals 0 into the equation. I get x squared over 9 plus y squared over 16 equals 1. That's the equation of an ellipse. So to get some points to guide the drawing of that ellipse, we let x be equal to 0 or y be equal to 0. See what comes out. If I let x be equal to 0, I'm going to have y squared to 16. So y is going to be plus or minus 4. So the idea here is if x is 0, we're in the line the y-axis. And so we're going to have y equal to plus or minus 4 means go up 4, go down 4. So I get two points there. If we let y be equal to 0, I'm going to get x equal to plus or minus 3. So y equals 0 is the x-axis. I come over by 3, I go back by 3. I have four points, so I just connect the dots now. That's my ellipse. Next trace. We let y be equal to 0, so it's going to be the trace in the xz plane. The equation that comes out, we're going to have x squared over 9 plus z squared over 4 equals 1. Same idea. We'll let x be equal to 0. We'll let z be equal to 0. We see what comes out. If I let x be 0, z is going to be plus minus 2. So x equal to 0 is going to be the z-axis. I go up by 2. I go down by 2. I let z be equal to 0. I get x squared equals 9. x equals plus minus 3. So we go over 3 and then back 3. Connect the dots. We get another ellipse. Finally, third trace, x equals 0, the yz plane. Here I get y squared over 16 plus z squared over 4 equals 1. And we do our trick of letting each be equal to 0. So I have y equals 0 goes to z equals plus minus 2. So up to down 2. Then z equals 0 gives me y equal to a plus minus 4. So over 4, back 4, draw in our ellipse. Now, we go one step at a time. First, I check out what's happening on the x, y, and z axes. On each axis, we're going to have exactly two points. So for instance, for x, we're going to have x equal to 3 and minus 3. So I come forward by 3, go back by 3. On the y-axis, we go y equals 4 minus 4. So I go over by 4 or in the other direction by 4. For z, we have 2 or minus 2. So I go up by 2 and then down by 2. All right, they're going to be the guideposts for the ellipses in our x, y, x, z, and y, z planes. So we draw those ellipses in. The idea is you draw your ellipses in, and then the idea is you're going to erase a lot just to make your picture look nicer. If you try to keep the entire ellipse in in any of those traces, at the end of your picture, things are going to be tough to see. So the idea is you draw them in, and then you just start erasing the things that are pretty much going behind the ellipsoid. When you do that, you get this picture, which is close enough. 